everyone it's Kay here today thank you very much for being here um, while I do part two of my uh, into the wild journal and um, I when I put all the papers in the signature I decided it wasn't quite enough so I'll just show you one of the signatures I've done so far uh, I've put this cute little animal one in there and I attached a envelope to this piece of paper so that there's one paper on that side and envelope on that side to create pockets and a bit of interest a bit of washi tape in the middle to join them together and a flip out for this nature book from Britain I should have got the book out can I? this is uh, from the uh, address book that I had a vintage ledger which I actually put in which I didn't show you before so I've got a pocket there and use my pinky shoes to give a bit of interest put that paper in there just does another flip out because I don't want to stick these down because they could stick out because otherwise I'd be losing all this German space so uh, this is from a, a book about uh, questions this is like I thought that would be relevant to into the wild like a red giant tree and I stuck a doily to the back of that just because um, I just wanted to create a little bit of uh, interest and that can be written on as well and I created a, a tuck pocket there and I added a card in the middle so mainly because I chose the colours so today I'm going to be using in the United Creek get your words out okay uniquely creative um, creative kit you get the you get the papers and you get a whole heap of other things as well including um, creative cuts which are like a die cut the thicker ones and you this this month you actually also I'll show you a die cut for instance these ones here with the with the thicker card so this is got still got things to cut out here and uh, this month they actually gave us some vellum ones as well so there's all these vellum ones as well so I thought I would use some of these vellum ones to create some <coughs> sorry sorry I think I might be coming down with something. <laughs> Not good. Anyway, I've got these bits of things ready to go to create some things for my um, journal. Let's put the cover to one side before I squish it to death. Oh, God, I think I've got a hair in my, in my trickling around my eye and it's bothering me. Sorry. So I've got cut this bit of um, white card. Why white? Well, because you look at the collection it's not really cream it's more white see so I just thought I should use white see? It's white so that's why I'm using white so I'm going to use this vellum sticker and I'm not I was going to use it as a sticker then I realized I thought well you know that means it was going to be hard to put actual photograph in there so I'm going to stick it down um, three sides and leave the other side loose so the person can stick a photograph in there and um, then they can stick it down afterwards if they wanted to. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to take the... Because these are vellum stickers, these are stickers, so... But it's not going to work, I don't think for somebody to put a photograph afterwards if I stick it all down. It's going to be too hard to get the photograph in. So hopefully this works, this idea works. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Okay, so that means that, that goes, that's lifted up. Make sure it's all stuck down on the sides. Maybe a night I might put a little sign there saying lift here or something. Lift here, photograph here. Lift here. Little pen. Where's a pen? Well, I think about it because I don't write it now, I'll forget it here. Little tiny writing. Oh, 
And then I thought I could put it in the pocket at the front. And I bet it's too fat to fit in there. Oh no. Or maybe I might have to cut it a little bit more to fit it in that pocket because that's the biggest pocket I have. Down. Down, 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 down. So I just have to cut this up a little bit here. I suppose it's better to have a little bit of leeway rather than um, cutting too much, I'm saying, too much base rather than worrying about not enough. So I might trim on the sides as well while I'm at it. It's not quite so bare on the edges here. Sorry if you can't see, but I can't move my shelves that are here in front of me back any further because I'll tip off the desk. <laughs> so look. That's better. That fits. So we'll just um, ink the edges. Using, I'm going to use forest moss because I thought that was sort of um, more like the colours that of the collection. I don't really have sort of colours. I could, could have used pink and I, but I don't know. To me, the collection is called Into the Wild. You think of greens and browns and other colours. No, this could have been made into an autumn journal. We'll see, but it's tricky because we don't really have a lot of native deciduous trees in Australia and the only deciduous trees we have are planted, uh, brought from overseas by... So you can go to the botanic gardens and see lots of um, deciduous trees, but around where uh, most places just have gum trees, so we don't really... I wouldn't say we sort of like really have a autumn looking season. I mean, the weather gets cooler. It's water autumn now. So for this one, I'm going to do the same process again, but using this frame this time. So I just so I'll have one in each signature that way. This one could actually be used as a um, special journaling spot, I suppose. But I'll still do the the whole three side thing, just just in case somebody wants to use it as a photograph. It's a dull day out there today. God, dark and gloomy looking and it's been like that for a couple of days and they've said it's supposed to be raining but we haven't had I think it rained overnight because the ground looked a bit wet this morning but I don't know how much rain we actually had so I think I'll have to trim that one as well what did I do with my trimmer what did I do with my trimmer on the floor where it normally is So, yeah. had this um, terrible accident where a bus rolled over, got the truck went into the back of it, and it's, these children have had to have amputations and oh, poor things, you know, like it would be not just the physical trying to get over it, but that sort of like emotional stress of why can't I do that anymore kind of thing and, and I know prosthetics has come a long way but I have to relearn everything poor things and the emotional scarring of having that because I got their got their arms stuck under the bus so but the, the bravery of the people who went rescuing to, rescue to to the rescue like people just driving behind and stuff like that was just amazing Anyway, so I've got these, um, I was going to, I'll link these later, I'll link that one later so you don't want to see me inking everything, it'll be boring. So I've made a journaling card out of this particular um, scrapbook paper and I'm not going to bother doing anything, oh, there's a, anything to, to that one, I'm just going to, going to just round the corners and on the back is that, so I think that's fine 
to write on that. It's not too dark to write on. Give me a little bit of space here. So, and I will ink around that one. That doesn't need to be altered at all. So that's why I chose that. And then there's this one, same thing. So, you know, like they were saying, some of these children say, I want my mum. I don't want to go on a bus again. I mean, how? Oh, it's just, the whole thing is just so traumatic, really. I'm tempted to put that sort of like that along the edge there. Do I want to put that one on the edge or maybe a mushroom one? Yeah. Mushroom ones are a bit, this one. It's too long, that one. See, that one goes right across the page. So look what other mushroom ones got there. Mushroom one, they're all the same. They're all very tall. I think I might put that there and cut it off there with a this one I will and I think I've told you before I always have trouble with vellum stickers without fail got a bit of stuff on my jumper so I've got my door shut at the moment I'll shut the door anyway when I'm recording but um there's a plumber in the house and he's down the other end of the house we're giving us having a new toilet in because we have to because the other one was just they said the seal was broken that was why it um, had these terrible horrible odors for ages and just couldn't get rid of them and uh, so in the end we thought we'd get the plumber in and uh, of course like lots of trades they are in high demand and they came Wednesday and they said they were going to come to yesterday or Thursday and they couldn't get here Thursday because they had a gas leak somewhere which is not, not really the safest thing so they had to um, go and fix that which is totally Totally understandable. I don't know. I don't like that one there after all now. Might have to think about that one. Maybe needs a taller one. Oh, they come up. Usually they do. I think maybe my problem is it's just not doesn't look straight. I think maybe it's just a bit too small because the flowers look really quite big. I'll just put that down there for a moment and see if there's a bigger one. Yeah, I think that's sort of, I don't know, it just doesn't want to, doesn't want to go. So I might have to think about that one. Sorry, I'll have to think about that one because nothing seems to be gelling with me. So I've got these as well and I might make this one into a double tag. So on the back, create a pocket, stuff like that. So this one, I'm just going to use the vellum cuts this is going to go on a page I think because it's got the word there let's have a look at this one here seriously awesome I love that um, does it need anything else Maybe a bit of book page or something. Let's have a look. They've got a bit of book page stuff here. Collection of things. If I have it too yellow, it would look a bit odd, wouldn't it? Might use this bit here. So he's doing he's doing the new toilet for us, the plumber. Sorry, I'll go back to my story. And uh, he's going to they're going to put some hydrochloric acid down the shower because he said it's the longest 
drop he's ever seen, which is, you know, you don't know these things until you go to fix them. That's what the first plumber says. This is a different plumber from what we had on Wednesday, so. It's just, of course, yeah. lots of things cost lots of money these days. Well, like I say, I'm glad we've got some money saved and we do it. So I'm just going to do this one. I'm not going to let you go because I'll probably do the same, the same as for the next one. And um, um, I liked, I liked the last couple of videos a bit, a bit longer than I than I would like because people seem to turn off after about 10, 15 minutes. So I think that's what I'll do. And then up the top here, I'll just do a. Do a matching one here. That's blue, and that's like that. Maybe something's jarring me about this particular element. Maybe it's just not rough enough. Jagged enough, because it's supposed to be in the wild and it looks a bit too straight. Do. that's better and I might put some stamping and stuff like that on there let's have a look uh, I've got some I'm not going to stick anything down I'm just going to some field nuts ones here do we want to have a number or a just number, small number. Just use the forest moss to sort of tie in with the I had dried top on it, so that <laughs> just do it underneath. That's good. Yeah, I quite like that. And then I've got some other dies as well. What I'll do with my packaging so I don't lose it. And then I've got this other little stamp here. Got stamps all over the place, don't they? And my texture dies, if I can find them. So I should have got all this out beforehand, and I didn't. I do that all the time. <laughs> texture stamps. This one here. This one here with a sayings on them to do with to do with scrapbooking. Um, and journals really because it's got um, things like remember photograph so that's probably too much the same really but okay, and then I think it needs something else but what maybe some butterflies or something Sorry, pop that on there. Isn't it amazing what stamps can do <laughs> in terms of lifting a whole tag? Okay, that'll do. I've got four, that's not bad, that's not good. All right. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to do exactly the same for the other tags that I've got there, really. Well, more or less the same. And um, 
I want to say thank you very much for everybody who is here and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi. I do that all the time. I, I finish the video and then I think, oh, perhaps I should show you what I've done. <laughs> so anyway, it took me a while, but um, I just uh, inked over the middle of those frames in the end and around the outside for both of those. Just a little bit with the um, frost mocks. Um, this one I just did a bit of stamping, that's all I did, and uh, um, inked the, the edges. I put this um, vellum sticker on there and then just a bit of stamping again and inked around the edges. And with my tags I did some lots of stamping and this is the one I was working on with you and this is the one I did off camera. So, and on the back of this one I've got a little tag with a bit of decoration in a, in a book page pocket something for my stash need to put something there and I oh I haven't inked it over I haven't inked it around the back and on this one I've just done a little bit of a, a tuck spot here with some tags from my stash so and I used some fibre that I got from the second hand shop because I thought that the fibre worked really well with the colours of the Into the Wild and I feel that this sort of fibre rather than lace would work well for this particular um, journal but I probably will end up using a bit of lace <laughs> mainly because I've got quite a fair bit of it anyway so I, that's where I'm up to and I've got these things here from my stash that will probably pop in somewhere as well and uh, we'll have another visit another day and we'll hope to see you then thank you for being here goodbye